Hello, Gore Horrors and Deadites. I am Sam, and welcome to Our Life in Horror. I am going to be talking about what I watched in November. I can't believe it is already December. It is officially Christmas season. I've had my tree up for weeks, though. I, I'm sorry. I can't help it. Um, I hope everyone in the States had a lovely Thanksgiving. Um, <laughs> you all right, dude? I um, have quite a few movies to talk about today, which I am excited for. I started watching Christmas movies already, so there are going to be a lot of Christmas movies on this list. Um, so, my first movie that I watched in November... Oh, before we start, also, we have channel memberships now, so you can go and check out the tiers. And if you would like to sign up, please do so. Uh, we appreciate everyone that has already. And, yeah, the first movie that I watched was Stream. This is a movie from this year. Um... And I was really, really looking forward to this one. This one has a ton of people in it. Felissa Rose, Tony Todd, rest in peace. Um, oh my, so many people I can't even think of off the top of my head. Daniel Harris, uh, lots of people, stacked cast. And it's got the same team doing the practical effects as the Terrifier movies. Um, so I was really looking forward to this. Unfortunately, it didn't fully hit for me. I gave this a 2.5. Um, it had good gore, obviously. I liked the relationship between the mother and the daughter. Um, but something was missing. I don't know why. It, it was a really long movie, too. Um, and it just it didn't fully land for me. Um, but next, I have Gonjiam Haunted Asylum. This one blew me away. People have been talking about this one for a while now and talking about how scary it is. And I just kept putting it off until I was in the mood and I was finally in the mood for it. This is the first movie in a very long time where I almost covered my eyes. And movies don't do that to me anymore. So the fact that I was almost like literally covering my eyes is a big deal. Um, I gave this a 4.5. This one is about a group of friends that are YouTubers, I guess, um, that go into an asylum because it is supposed to be haunted and they want to record it live. And obviously bad things happen. Um, this is subtitles, but suck it up and watch it because it's amazing. Um, so yeah, 4.5 for that. The next movie I watched was Oddity, which is another movie from this year. I am super happy I watched this one. Um, we actually did a live review of it, so you can go check that out if you would like um, for the full review. But I gave that a four star. I really did enjoy that one. Um, and then I watched Strange Darling, which is from last year um, with Kyle Gellner. And uh, I really liked it. I thought it was really well done and it was not what I was expecting at all. It was super unhinged. Um, I gave it a four star, even though the rewatchability for me is super low, just based off some triggering aspects for me. Um, but you can check out our review on that as well. We did a review on that earlier. Um, not long ago, actually, like we just watched it. So it would have been this month or last month. Um, the next movie I watched was Hannibal from 2001. That was my first time watching it. It was not for me. Apologies to my friend David. Uh, we did do a live review on it. It just isn't for me. Um, I gave it a 1.5. You can check out our full review on that if you want. I just thought it was kind of boring and long and just, it's just not my type of movie. I'm also not into like... I wasn't into the movie Seven, which is supposed to be a masterpiece. Like, it, it just isn't for me. Um, the next movie I watched was Ten Things I Hate About You. This is one of my favorites from the past. Um, growing up, I loved it. Love Heath Ledger. Love Julia Stiles. Um, five stars, always. That I don't think that rating will ever change. This movie holds up like crazy. So good. Probably in my top ten films ever. Um... The next movie I watched was Rogue from 2007. This is an Aussie crocodile movie that I thought was actually really good. Um, I gave it a three and a half star and I highly recommended it, uh, recommend it if you are into like animal survival stories. Um, the next movie I watched was The Purge Election Year. 
Um, our friends Matt and Sydney at Slasher Trash Podcast did a review on this movie, and I had never seen it, so I wanted to listen to their review, so I ended up uh, watching the movie. Also, because of the election that all of our friends in the States had, I just thought it was kind of a soothing time to watch it, I guess. Um, I ended up giving it a three and a half. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. I liked the girls that came in the... I think they were in, like, tutus, and they were, like talking about how they want their candy bar or something like that it's been a minute now since i watched it but i really like those girls um and then the next movie i watched this is where we're getting into christmas because netflix has been dropping the romance movies and th it's like weekly they have them um so i watched meet me next christmas and i gave it a three star i thought it was all right didn't hate it didn't love it um I know a lot of the reviews on Letterboxd, people are bashing it for being a Pentatonix um, um, advertisement pretty much. I actually like that musical group, so that's just kind of a win for me. Um, I also wasn't expecting the movie to go where it did, but I was happy with it. Um, again, it's just a cheesy Christmas romance movie, so don't expect too much. Um, the next movie I watched was Ravenous, and... This is a horror Western movie that we did a live review with uh, Beyond the Grave um, Media. And I gave this a two and a half star. A lot of people would probably rate this a lot higher. I'm just not huge into Westerns, but I still enjoyed it. It's a cannibal movie. Um, I would definitely recommend watching it if you're into Western horror movies. If you're into Western horror movies, you've probably already seen it though. Um, but yeah, I gave it a two and a half. Next movie I watched, I rewatched The Santa Claus from 1994 because that is a classic and I have not watched it since I was really young. And Brendan says he doesn't think he's seen it, so we threw it on. I gave it a four star, even though it's probably not that good, but it was super nostalgic. Um, the next movie I watched was Silent Night from 2012. This is basically a remake of silent night deadly night um we did a review on this too so you can check that out if you'd like i believe it was no we owned it it might be on tubi but don't hold me to that um if not maybe check plex but um silent night i had fun with it if you like slasher movies i think you'll like this movie it's obviously not super high budget or anything and it's it's super gritty i like the kills um there's nudity which is always a plus for slasher fans um i ended up giving this a four star which it's probably not that great of a movie but i had a lot of fun with it the next movie i watched was the next um Netflix romance Christmas movie that came out called Hot Frosty. Um, <laughs> I really wanted to love this movie. I just, I don't know, something about it. I, I, some of the jokes didn't land, I think mostly with like the sheriff and stuff. Um, this one is basically about a hot snowman. He's like chiseled and everything that comes to life. And the main girl who is Lacey Chappert from Mean Girls and Black Xmas, uh, she ends up falling in love with him. Um, so Hot Frosty, I gave it a two and a half. It was still kind of a fun watch, but wasn't like amazing or anything. Um, the next movie I watched was a rewatch and it was of Teeth from 2007. We did a live um, discussion on this with Mike, also known as Mike and Serial. Um, this might have been one of my favorite discussions we have uh, had on the channel yet. Um, we got so deep with this movie and it was so good. Um, this was a rewatch for me. I gave it a four and a half star uh, this time around. Um, the next movie I watched... Oh, I watched The Haunting of Hollywood. We got a screener from the director, actually. And she, uh, Brendan actually did a... Re interview i can't speak she did an interview with her he did an interview with her uh recently so you can check that out um the haunting of hollywood for some reason i didn't read it i just logged it i don't know maybe i was feeling off that day um but that should be coming out next halloween so keep an eye out for that and go check out the interview with them they don't do any spoilers but they have some fun behind the scenes stories and stuff um the next movie I watched, this was a movie I picked up at the store. Thank God I picked it up cheap because it was really, really bad. It's 
Christmas Cupid from 2010. I gave this a one and a half star. I was really excited for this because it's got Ashley Benson, uh, Chad Michael Murray, Christina Mil Milian. Um, I was really excited for this. It wasn't that great. Um, it kind of reminded me of like the ghosts from Christmas past kind of story, um, but different. It's yeah, called Christmas Cupid. Definitely not great. One and a half star. Next movie I watched was um, the original Black Christmas, which Brendan and I just did a review on. So that is going to be coming out tomorrow on our channel. Um, we're also doing a franchise discussion with our friends, uh, Sean, Bo, and Kayla, and that is going to be on Sean's Horror Corner, his YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, my rewatch for Black Christmas this year, I gave it a five star. I love this movie. I think it is a Christmas horror classic, and you can find out more why in our review. Um, the next movie I watched was another Netflix um, <laughs> Christmas romance, and it was The Merry Gentleman. This is one that a lot of people were looking forward to. It's got Chad Michael Murray in it, um, and it's basically about a, a male... They're like kind of strippers, kind of not. They don't get completely naked or anything, but it's got some stripper vibes to it, some Magic Mike show uh, vibes to it. And I gave this a three and a half star. I don't know if it really deserves that high of a rating. It was probably the eye candy that got me, but um, yeah, three and a half star. It was fine. The story was fine. It was kind of predictable, but it's still kind of fun and cheesy. Um, the next movie I watched was The Cabin in the Woods because we, I was supposed to be on a live for, um, with Fletz Movies and Pop Culture 13, Kyle. Um, Brendan did a live review with him. I was supposed to be on it, but I was not feeling well that day. Um, I have, <laughs> I have type 1 diabetes and it kind of kicked my ass that day. Um, but The Cabin in the Woods is always a good time. I think it is such a unique, fun slasher movie. Um, I only watched it for the first time, I think, last year. So this was a rewatch for me, though. I gave it a four star. Uh, the next movie I watched, this one surprised me. Um, my friends Bo and Kayla from Critic After Dark, they recommended it to me because I did not think I would ever watch this movie. I thought it was an action movie. It's called Hitman from 2023. It's got Glenn Powell in it, who I love. Um, and they straight up said, like, this is a Sam movie because it is like a sexy mystery um, type of movie. And I thought just based off of the title, it was an action. So I never would have watched it if it wasn't for them, but I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was really good. I gave that a four star. Next movie I watched was Black Christmas from 2006. I always call it Black Xmas because of the cover. Um, this is a four and a half star for me. This is probably the most rewatchable um, Black Christmas movie for me personally. I really love the cast. I love the holiday feels. Um, it's just one I like to try and watch every year. I love all the girls in this movie. Um, so yeah, four and a half stars. I'll talk about it more when we do our franchise discussion on Sean's channel. Um, almost done here. I rewatched It's What's Inside um, with Brendan because he had not seen it yet. That one is on Netflix. Love that movie. I, I even loved it the second time around. It has kind of... <sighs> It's a little confusing if you're not paying attention, so really pay attention to this movie. It's got quite a few characters and things get a little crazy. Um, go into it as blind as possible if you have not seen it. Um, so I don't want to say too much about it. It's basically about a party game. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I gave this a four star. And the last movie I watched was The Coffee Table. This is one that has been talked about for a while as a very dark and disturbing film, and I understand why. I believe I watched it on Tubi. Um, it's subtitles, and it's about a coffee table. That is all I'm going to say, but it is super dark. Highly recommend if you are into very dark content, but trust me, you have been warned. Um, it is an emotional ride that is going to make your tummy hurt. Um, I gave this a four star. Something I could add to the list is I started watching the show The Affair. Um, I watched season one because I was really into that show Tell Me Lies and everyone on TikTok was saying if you're into Tell Me Lies that you should watch The Affair. So I tried the first season. I thought it was kind of slow, but I did enjoy it and think I'm going to continue watching it. Um, i trying to think if there was anything else TV show-wise. 
I'm watching Love Island Australia. Don't know if anyone else is into that, but I'm into that. Super good. Um, can't really think of anything else. We started watching the newest Black Christmas from 2019, I think it's from, um, last night. I did not log it yet because we have not finished it yet. This is a rewatch for me, though, so I'll log that into December, I think. Um, besides that, yeah, I think that's it. So if you have not checked out our membership tiers yet, please go and check that out. We would love for you to become a member on our channel. We are so pumped that we hit 500 subscribers. And I just want to say thank you so much um, because we would not be doing this without you guys because it would be pointless. Um, also, we just launched some merch and I'm... I posted about it on our feed on YouTube. It's also on our Instagram and in the link in the bio. Um, it is 25% off as well for two weeks. So you can go check that out. But yeah, besides that, I hope everyone gets festive this December. And I can't wait to see what uh, Christmas horror movies you guys are going to be watching. If you want to comment and let me know of some Christmas horror movies that you like to watch every year, um, please do so because maybe I haven't heard of it, some of them and then I can watch them. Um, but yeah, besides that, have a good day guys and stay spooky.